Okay, as you all know, there have been rumors circulating around the seminary halls of IWU that a Trunk Monkey sequel may be coming soon called Church Monkey. Well, after interviewing several monkeys for the part, I wanted to show you one that, well, may not have made the cut, but did seem to care a lot about what Willard had to say about spiritual formation. First of all, on behalf of all the seminary class that actually watched this video, thank you for coming back to the studio to talk about Willard with us today. What? Willard? This isn't a callback for the church monkey part? Man, that's just not right. I thought I had this one all in the bag, bro. I just went out and bought me a new truck. You know, the spiritual one that Willard mentioned? Yeah, I was going to get all spiritual in that truck. Man, I even put it on my credit card. A, a truck? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, Willard mentioned it in that it was called a spiritual thing, but that people have taken that phrase and ran with it in a direction that is, that's totally off base. You think I don't know that? But man, I was going to be in church monkey. And now what am I supposed to tell my grandmimi? She was so proud of me, her little shirtless monkey had finally gone to church. She was sure that I was going to get spiritual now. All I have now is a, is a new truck that, that ain't even really spiritual and a credit card that's going to take me for everything I got. That is interesting. Well, you know, what you said about going to church and getting spiritual. Can you expand on that? Well... My grandma and Willard used to play darts together back in the days of bingo night. Neither of them were gamblers, and so they used to talk about spiritual things. One of those being formation and how society has taken something that was so unique to the church and made it something that anyone can use depending on their flavor of God. Buddhist, Satanist, whatever. I would say that there needs to be a line drawn in the sand. No matter how the term sounds, whether Catholic or whatever, it would be a formation that happens by the intentional effort. Okay. I think I got it, Mikey. Monkey. Shirtless monkey. I, I think I understand. So, so can you give me a, a definition of, um, of spiritual formation? You sure you're ready for that? Well, I'd love to hear what you have to say on it. Well... I think, I think if Dallas Willis, Willard were to really define it like this, with a lot of words, really to draw the meaning out, I think it would be something like this. Like a holistic growth of self in Christ Jesus that is heart enlivening, deepening, heart widening, mind refreshing, mind sharpening, mind opening, mind balancing and changing that can only come from journeying with Christ Jesus and receiving from Him and giving to Him all that we are. Wow, oh, that, that was a mouthful. It means submitting, yielding, listening, and walking in His ways in order to follow Him. This would be in part through spiritual disciplines, but also through physical disciplines that would cause the inner life, the spirit of the person, to take the shape of Christ and be led more and more by the Holy Spirit. Okay, anything else you want to say on this monkey? Can I please have the church monkey part? Well, you just seem to know your stuff about spiritual formation. Maybe we'll reconsider. That'd be great, man, because that truck is expensive. Oh, and, and, and just so you know, there is no money for being church monkey. Oh, thanks for listening. Hope you have a great night.